Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm excited for this video. For this weekend, really, it is Friday morning. We just made the two hour drive. We are at New Maloney's Lake out here in California, and it is the weekend of the first tournament of 2023 for the Native Watercraft No Limit Big Bass Power Hour. And correct me if I am wrong, but I do believe, if I open the Tourney X app right now, this is the biggest bass fishing kayak tournament in the history of California. We got 166 anglers signed up right now, and I'm sure there's gonna be a few more by tomorrow morning. But today's practice, again, for this tournament, a very unique tournament. They started this series last year, a huge success. It spans throughout the country, and this is the first one of 2023 right here in California. But a cool format, a lot different than a normal five longest fish style format. This particular tournament, giving away a ton of cash and a few boats. Basically, you can have two strategies for this tournament. You can go for the big bass which they award an hourly big bass every hour for the eight hour tournament the biggest bass caught during that hour gets a thousand bucks the overall big bass of the tournament wins a boat they'll also have a random drawing at the awards for another boat and then the other thing that you can do to win this tournament is get the overall longest cumulative inches so that would be as many fish keeper fish that you can catch cumulative inches wins a boat and then i think like two grand something crazy like that so it's a unique format in that you can have two strategies or two game plans you can either target big fish or try to find a large population of fish and catch numbers i'm not exactly sure what our game plan will be again today's friday the day before the tournament practice of course the fellers are coming down the whole crew will be here the shenanigans the party will be tonight and it'll probably be a party just an awesome fun weekend a really cool event fishing should be good so we just pulled up i'm gonna unload the kayak we're gonna get launched i haven't been here in a while i'm just gonna go out and see what's up we'll see if there are fish on beds we'll see if we can find any really big ones locked on beds which we might waypoint and save for the tournament tomorrow or we'll see if we can find a pocket with some numbers I have no idea. I'm excited. This is going to be a fun weekend. Should be some fantastic fishing. So let's get this thing going. Here we go, folks. Man, I'm excited. It's going to be a great weekend of fishing, I think. If nothing else, it's going to be a beautiful weekend weather-wise. We're going to get some really comfortable temperatures. And I do think, honestly, majority of these fish, the fishing will be a shallow spawners tournament, which I'm okay with. But, man, we got to start with top water. Gotta start with top water. Whoa, see that? No, that's already a sign right there. That was a carp, super shallow. When the carp are shallow, the bass tend to be shallow too. I mean, it's not really that hard to figure out. It's April, these fish will be on beds. Honestly, they could be in all phases of the spawn. You know what? This probably would measure 12 inches, but 
the tournament, I believe, like last year, is set to 14 inches. So it's got to be 14 inch minimum, which is a good rule, to be honest. Yeah, first fish of the day. It took all uh, five minutes. That's cool. Little spot. And that's the thing, too, with this tournament, as far as numbers go, man, that might be a hard strategy to pull off because anybody, especially in a field this big, could pull up to any cove and find the mother load of spots. So I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of right now at this point, I'm, I'm hoping that we can find a big one on a bed. We're not going to be looking until that sun pops up, but I really want to try to find a big fish. And yeah, I brought a Dubs 250 and some swim baits, but I just feel like for this particular tournament, my game plan should be sight fishing for big fish or an area that I know has some big fish. And if the numbers thing happens, it, it, it just happens. What's up, buddy? Hey, Greg. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Where you at? Uh, I launched from Tuttletown. I figured I see shit ton of trucks over there too. Oh, really? Is there? Well, I figured there'd be a million by Glory Hole. Uh, it looks probably half and half. Mm, well, you guys just waking up or what? I'm at the ramp right now, making some coffee, gonna poop. Very good. Just like normal. Yeah. Business as usual. Um, how's Dutch? I heard he smashed his hand last night. Yeah, his fingers not looking the best but it's it's still attached what do you do he smashed it in his tailgate yeah oh my god luckily it's his baby truck and not his big truck he would have died oh dude that sucks i feel bad that really yeah. sucks have you caught fish yet i just caught one on the phone with you but they're like 12 inch spots oh god all right yeah oh there's another one. Oh, the bite's on mike we're actually gonna fish a tournament where we can catch fish Really? Are you fishing a jig? No, nah, I'm just fishing a drop shot right now, just catching shallow fish. Yeah. That's oh. good. Oh, there's a pretty dude, good... It, was, it oh. was freezing here last night, dude. Oh, dude, there's. I just actually caught a pretty big spot, and there's a couple spots with them. Dude, there's like 20 people heading that way right now. I know. Well, it's, it's a shallow tournament. I just caught like a pretty big one. <laughs> like, pretty good. Whew, All right, I'm... I'll call you back. All right, later. Yeah, nice long one. I guarantee that fish was on a bed. His partner was with him. Yeah, this is exactly what we thought these fish would be doing. It's not hard to guess this time of year, but it's fun. A whole lot of fun. See, this 14 inch rule might be a factor. There we go. Man, there's some really little fish here. Oh boy. That is a tiny one, man. Jeez, that's a, that's almost a scupper fish. All right, well, I'm gonna say this is probably not the area. That's what, five fish already? And I think only one of them would have kept. It's, uh, you know, that's, in a way, that's actually kind of useful information. It helps me eliminate this water. Hmm. Man, I'm really surprised I haven't seen a bedfish yet. I'm really surprised. That said, we're, we're kind of working our way up to the area I really wanted to look around. I just intentionally started off here so I could kind of wait for that sun to get up a little higher and then we'll really be able to see some fish. But shoot, I mean, maybe they're not on beds. Maybe these are just pre-spawn fish kind of cruising around the shallows. <sighs> Hard to imagine they're not on beds though, at least some fish. I think we'll find at least a couple of bed fish, maybe a bunch.
fish. I don't know if that's a spot though. Oh. That feels better. I'm seeing a pretty big one below me too. Oh, it's a large girl. It's a pretty big one below me too. Alright, getting warmer maybe. You know, ideally we'd find a big large mouth on a bed. I mean, I've never really found a like a big spotted bass on a bed. Just big large mouth. There's way more spots in here than there are large mouth, I believe. So it might take some real hard looking, but large mouth right there. And I just saw large mouth too under the boat. Maybe like a two and a half, three pounder. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I think there's a couple of large mouth in this area. Oh, another large mouth. Did I find the large mouth pocket? Maybe. Another solid fish. When I say solid, I mean keeper. 14 incher. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Bite is on. I just don't know if those fish were on beds or pre spawn. I think. They were probably pre-spawn, because again, yet to see a fish on a bed, unless they're spawning really deep. And this could be an area where we start. We're gonna... Let's give it the that symbol. Definitely could start here. I don't know, the other thing too, tomorrow we just might go fishing. If we don't find like a big bed fish anywhere or area, just might wing it. Let's go fishing, have fun. Which is probably what I'll end up doing anyways. <laughs> Just so much fun. So much fun. Large your spot. That's probably a spot. See, I don't. That's a tough call. I don't know if that one. I don't think that would go 14. Like, yeah, 13. See? Fun fish, but not scorable. Oh, Might have been a big fish. I think I was playing with it. I got it again. Yeah, I think that was a bad fish. I think. Again, haven't seen one yet on a bed, but. <laughs> That would be probably 14. Felt like it was trying to move it off the bed. And then it ate it. Let's make a little run. made it to an area that obviously has a lot of wood and I was thinking there was a chance there could be some large mouths some big large mouths spawning on it but so far no signs of spawning large mouth very strange I cannot believe we have not seen one on a bed yet I think I've seen some beds but nobody was home seems a little strange deeper so as soon as I made a cast to a little bit deeper water we got one it could just be spawning deeper too I don't know 
So it's still not the size we're looking for. That's not going to be 14 inches. This 14 inch rule really might be a factor. How have I not seen one on a bed? I've seen, I think, empty beds. Maybe the spawn already happened. There's one. Watch my mouth. There's spot. There's spot. Again, not on the bank though, so not a bed fish. Oh, it's a large one actually. have spawned already. The bulk of these fish in this lake may have already done their thing. Kind of looking like that to be honest. It's because I haven't seen anything on beds and everything's been a little deeper. So these are either pre-spawn or post-spawn fish. Very strange. I mean, I'm glad they're biting, but I really thought we'd come back here and just see fish loaded. Largemouth. So there are largemouth back here. Just haven't seen the old giant largemouth. Well, at least it was a 14 inch fish. That's good. What's going on, man? Guess you had the same idea, huh? I thought, but I haven't really seen any big ones. That's the problem. Yeah, I know. I thought I'd see more on the beds, but if anything, they're gone. Mm -hmm. Did you see any on beds yet? Uh, not yet? Yeah, they're like deeper. I don't know, too, because it looks like the water like came up because there's a bunch of green grass like right on the bank. I don't know if the water just came up quick and now they're like way deeper. I caught one on 25, two more. Oh yeah, the bite's good. I mean, you can catch them wherever, but I think uh, a lot of mine have been under 14 inches, so <laughs> I don't know, man. I was hoping to find like a like a six pounder on a bed. Yeah. Haven't found her yet, though. It's really strange. Yeah, right? All right, man. We'll see you later. What? <sighs> They're all a little deeper. They might be on beds deeper. I just, I don't know. The one thing that could be, oh, that's a good one. The one thing that could be a factor is I'm seeing a lot of green grass right on the shoreline. Oh, that's a good one. Dang it. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe this water came up real good. And the beds that were made are just sitting deeper now. I don't think that would win a big fish, but that would certainly help in the no limit category. That's a really good kayak bass. 17 inch or maybe? No clue what's going on really. I'm trying to figure out what these fish are doing exactly. They still could be on beds just deeper. Oh. Must have landed on them. Large mouth? Nothing largey. I'm not too upset about catching large mouth, you know? Because they're all 14 inches for the most part. It's those tiny little spots you'll probably have to worry about catching. Yeah, it might not even be 14. Huh. Fish. Oh my god, got it. Wow, they're not that hard to catch. I saw three fish. All about the same size. I don't think they were on beds though. Cruising, I think it was pre spawn fish. Hmm. 
could be an area. I don't know. I haven't found a big one yet. I might have to just try to go catch fish, and if I get lucky, great. And if I get numbers, great too. Just, just haven't seen any fish, any big ones. Another one. Alrighty. Seems like a good little area. Might be a better fish. Another largemouth. Interesting. And more and more we fish. It looks like we're just gonna make a milk run. Kind of start at the launch, hit some areas where we caught some keepers, and when I say keepers, I mean 14 inchers, and just see what happens. There's a bunch of fish over here. A little section. That's the most bites we've had in a little 50 yard stretch. I'm not gonna cut it, not the spots. Let's see if we can catch him a little deeper. Well, whatever that fish is, it followed my bait down. Let's see if it's a little bass. Can we get it? Come on, get it. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. There are bass out there a little deeper. Okay. I might get it again. I think he might get it again. I think we'd be using our graph here. This tournament is nice. It kind of just confirmed there's fish out deeper. When I say deeper, I mean like in 20. This area could be pretty thick with fish. There's three or four fish right there. I don't know. One right below us. See one right on the bottom, streaking under the boat too. Let's see if this one follows it down. Got it. We might have to fish a little deeper. Of course, this area is like literally four miles from the ramp. So that one right there, just for reference, that probably is not going to touch 14. Nope. See? What's up? What's going on, brother? Nothing. How you doing? You okay? I heard you smashed your hand. My finger is bashed. I can't even. It's hard to. I can't even cast. Did you? Uh, did you like break your finger? Or did you just cut it? No, I think it's broken. Oh my God, Dutch! I smashed it. I smashed it so bad it split the end of it open. It, it's uh, it's ugly. My wife is picking. You should have went to the guy. Why? It's a broken finger. There's nothing they can do anyway. Do you have a splint or something like to kind of keep it neutral? Yeah, it's some electrical tape. I think I have a medical kit in my uh, kayak when we get back. My wife gave me some band-aids to bring and shit. You catching fish or what? I'm catching a ton of fish, but not many are over 14 inches. Yeah, I've caught maybe three of them have been over 14. Yeah, a lot of small ones. Yeah, I don't really fish a whole lot. Like, we got out here kind of late, and then we was messing with my live scope, and then the help mic is dialed in. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you guys are live scopers now. All right. All right, see how it is. You're down there in the spot we were going to go to. Uh... Oh, I think I lost you. Hear me? Yeah, hey. What time are you getting off water? I don't know, probably 4, 4.30. Okay. You got beers in your kayak? I do not. No. It's very... I brought three and I'm, I'm out, so I was going to have you bring me a beer. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, were you? <laughs> All right, man. I'll, uh, I'll see you at the camp. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Poor Dutch. Fishing one-handed this weekend. What's up, dude? Knocking him dead yet? I mean, I'm catching a lot of fish, just not a lot of 14 inches and bigger. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot of dinks. Imagine if they open it up to 12 inches? I mean, it's good. They, It's 14. That's a really good idea because there's a lot of small fish. Well, and 175 people signed up, so 
That's gonna be one hell of a shotgun launch, man. Oh, I know. <laughs> when uh, when are you coming? You getting here soon or? No, I'll be there at like seven to eight, probably. Oh, jeez, getting off late, man. Uh, I know. I'm gonna have to leave tomorrow to turn it to and go back to work and then work on Sunday. It's gonna be a brutal weekend. Uh, well, it'll but it'll be uh can't. fun fun fishing. It'll be you know you get bit. I'll, I can't say it'll be a lot of quality fish, but you'll get bit. No, for sure. You getting them, uh, you getting them deep or shallow? Kind of like <laughs> medium. I mean, I thought they were in like 5 to 10, but now I'm starting to catch them in like mm, 10 to 20, I'd say. Yeah, yeah that, I was uh, talking to Bam and looking at the water levels, and uh, the water's coming up super fast, like a foot a day. Oh, man, I'm glad you said that, because I was kind of wondering about that. The bank is really like, it looks like it just came up, because a lot of grass is in the water, like green grass, and yeah. I thought I was catching bedfish. I may have been, but they were so deep, and I was thinking, you know what, maybe those fish were in like five foot like two days ago, but now they're in like eight to ten foot with the water. Yeah, I'm sure that's the way it's going. I'm sure that, you know, I bet there's dead fish down to like 20 feet right now. It very well could be with this water being, you know, rising so quick. Does it seem like it's like really high water? You know, overall, no. I got one. Um, but you can tell it's it's like come up quick because like I said, the bank has got a bunch of green grass underwater. Yeah, for sure. Like now everything in, you know, three, four foot has got grass on it. No hard bottom really, so. Did you go up the river stay in Lake? I stayed in Main Lake and I went south. I feel like just too many people. You're going to be, unless you like take a bank and claim it all day long, it's like you're just going to be recycling water that's been fished already. Yeah. Oh, got another one. <laughs> See, I'm all the way south and there's not really a lot of people down here, so I'm I'm catching fish, but ooh, this one might be 14 actually. Jester said that that ramp was so this morning was tunnel jump? No, there was like when I well I got here pretty early and there's only one other person. Damn, every, this fish right here is probably not even 14. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, I've only caught like eight today, but I have a couple of buddies that have caught over 20 already. Oh yeah, I wonder how many of those 20 were over 14 inches though. No doubt. So ah, we'll damn. see how it goes. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I'll see you tonight. All right, wait a minute. Wait. I did not think my graph would come into play this tournament, but it certainly will. Mentality as of right now, tomorrow, numbers. There's a 14 incher. That just broke me too, stinker. It's your lucky day. I didn't get this hook out of your mouth. Yeah, 14 incher. Hi. Yo. What's up? Nothing, just fishing by the ramp right now. Just finishing up you. Heading back, but we got probably like an hour drive. Drive? Or you know what I mean. Where'd you go, up the river? Mm, no, we went way up north. It sucked. I only caught one fish all day. <laughs> no, no way. Yeah. Were you, were you just playing with your live scope the whole time? Maybe, but no. <laughs> dude, what? Finally got it to work, dude. I had to call Max and change the settings. I went to a stand-up tree, looked at it, didn't see anything, threw my bait bag, and watched the fish fall it all the way down and turn around. Nice. It was depressing. I'm like, f*** this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sure it'll serve a purpose somewhere, but not right now. Did you catch a hundred fish? No, nah, no, not a hundred. I caught a bunch though. Like, I don't know, maybe 20, 25. All 14? No, maybe six or seven were 14. I found a fat school of like eight inches. <laughs> I just roped them for like 10 minutes and then left. Yeah, um, me and Dutcher have our 
we took the smallest campsite. Oh, really? It's right across the street, right across the road from our other one. I failed and got another one last night. I got one. Yeah. We crammed in a small one. All right. I got one. This one might be 14 inches, actually. Really? I just got another one that I think is 14 inches. You slaying them on the three inch drop shot flatworm? 3.25. Nice. I should stop sore lipping these fish, dude. On the Kitek? No, flatworm. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I had a lot of sh little fish rip my skirt off a bunch of times. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's going to be. I don't know. We'll see whatever. I'm sure there's a lot of chatter going on, but. Oh, I'm catching better fish right now. Shoot. Oh, wait. Are you by the ramp? Never mind. These aren't big. This one's small. Do you see Dutcher? <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is a 12 inch here. Uh. Oh, damn. Oh man, I think I got it. <laughs> quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, I just caught a three pounder. What? I got a three, three pounder. A three pounder? Yeah. Oh man. Are you just fishing at the boat ramp? Yeah. Alright, we'll see it all off. Alright, see it. Oh man, dude, I gotta get out of here. I think I'm starting here actually. Dang it. Look at this one. This one would be a good quality fish. Kayak fish. 17 inch or 17 and a half. I don't know if I'll catch you tomorrow, but I think I gotta get out of here. There's some decent fish over here. When I say decent, I mean bigger than 14 inches. Is this the pocket, the magical pocket where we can rack up a ton of inches? Oh, I think this, I think this, we just found our starting area, guys. That's, that's a head shaker. I think, I think it's decent. It feels like it's got a decent head. Oh my god, no way. Are you serious? I just caught a trout. Oh my god, are you serious? Well, that's a first. Yeah, hey, what's up with this year? Catching striper on jigs, trout on drop shots. Should have brought like a 12 inch swim bait. Oh, man, I really thought that was a bass. Dang it. Yes! As long as it's not a trout, this is definitely our starting spot. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Look at you guys. Mike, you got a house. How's your finger? Not good. You know how easy it is to tie connection knots without your finger? Probably really. Oh, let me see it. This is, little, this is a little blood in there. Just a little. I'm alive. Mike has a house. Time to crush. Wow, look at those glasses. I'm glad I got hella gas on me now. The fish are going to smell it and not bite more. <laughs> you know, I'm starving. I'm really hungry. We're having sausages tonight. Tomorrow's lobster prime rib and crab legs. Look at this guy. Over here. He's going link cod fishing. Hi, I'm Justin Dutcher, link cod master. <laughs> when it comes to swim baits, I like fishing for link cods. Dutcher, grab. Wow. We grab me a beer, bro. How many did you crush today? Beers? I only had. On the water? I only had two, I think. Oh. Really? Mm hmm. I had a lot last night, though. It's okay. Sorry, bro. I'm a drop shot master today. Hey, yeah, can I borrow some flatworms? So you gotta bring an extra bag of tackle with me now. Why? Just to complicate things. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Well, that is going to conclude 
pre-fish, kind of an interesting one. A lot of fish, a lot of bites, just not the size that we need for this particular tournament. Again, 14 inches is the minimum size. Caught a lot of 12 to 13 inches, I'd say. Found one area, one area in particular that seemed to have maybe a little bit better quality. So I think that's probably where we're gonna start. Did not find any big fish, did not find any bed fish at all, really. Maybe two bed fish all day. So I think the game plan tomorrow will be just to go fish. I guess we'll go for numbers to start and just kind of wing it from there. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be an interesting tournament. I think as of right now, there's 176, 176. Last time I looked, there were 175. 175, 176 people signed up for this tournament. Mike, are you excited? I'm very excited. Yeah. I hope I catch more than one fish. Really cool. I can't believe you only caught one today. I was throwing a glide bait for a long time. Yeah. I brought a Depths 250 and it just sat in my rod holder the whole time. Yeah, this wasn't a big glide bait, but nonetheless. No followers? Nothing. Yeah. I'll say this. I think I think that on average, if we do an hourly big fish, eight hours tomorrow, so eight big fish, I think when you combine all eight fish and you do an average, I think it's going to be a 18 inch fish. Every hour? Maybe 17 and a half, yeah. I think obviously there'll be like a 21 or 20, whatever. Yeah, but I think maybe a 17 and a half might win an hourly. They got one one last year with a 16 and a half, I think. That was Barry Essa though. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. still 16 yeah. and a half. I want a thousand dollars on it. Yeah. That'd be great. Well, uh, you know what? Before we uh, close this out, let's do a quick little tour. Mike, can you give us a tour? I'm like impressed of your site, your campsite. Yeah, you can do a tour. All right, campsite, New Malone's. Yep. Big Oak site, 140. Do you want to see the rods? Are we doing camp? What are we doing? Everything, just the whole site. Okay. Everything. So this is all where all the magic happens in here. This is just a array of stuff I probably won't catch anything on, but I'm going to really try hard. What's in the center? Uh, those are chips. Oops. Yeah, they're pretty good. So that's a match made in heaven. All right. That's the uh, that's the garage, if you will. Yeah. This is the this is where I keep the extra battery and the, the motor. This is like another garage. Wow. But it's in the back seat is garage. Jet boil over there. Oh yeah, that's for coffee in the morning. Then I'll show you the bedroom. Yeah, generators. There's no electric here, which kind of stinks. So generators. It's powering us up though. Yeah. Oh, these are secret base. You can't see this. This is off limits. Okay, you can see it. So this is what I was impressed with. Mike has upgraded his camping setup. So my boy Aldi Waldi hooked me up with this tent over land tent, whatever the hell it's called. I didn't want to mount it off the side because I want to take off to the boat ramp in the morning. So all I do is in the morning, I pop this ladder up. I made a little clip there, clip it up, pull the kayak straight, drop this thing down, and I'm driving to the ramp. How long do you think that would take? It doesn't take any time. It's like 13 seconds. Dang, can we go up there? Yeah, go on up. You go up and have fun up there. That's the condo, pretty nice. <laughs> Oh wow, this looks comfortable. It's super comfortable. Get up there, lay down, try it out. Oh my God. This is actually really nice. Well ventilated. Oh, Mike, I found your bathroom. Yeah, that's my, this is. <laughs> I brought my own facilities. <laughs> Anton Jackson. This is actually really comfortable. It's super sweet. I drove to the ramp with this thing like this today. Everyone's laughing at me. Joke's on them, Jack. The new condo. And over here we got, who's that? Oh, that's Dutcher's new condo. That was my old condo, now it's Dutcher's. All right, you want to see my place? Yeah. All right, let's go. Can we rattlesnakes room? I wouldn't walk through there if I was you. I wouldn't that be funny if you got bit by a rattlesnake and didn't get to compete tomorrow and I had to drive him to the hospital? That wouldn't be funny. How screwed, screwed would you be if you like went off to take a pee and you got bit by a rattler Dude. and you're like two miles from the launch? You'd be screwed. All right, well. This is a Casa de Blanchero. This won't take as long as Mike's set up. Uh, this is the bedroom and the kitchen. Um, I've got pillows. Luckily, my center console flips up so I can lay across the, you know, the whole front seat. I've done that for years now. Um, it's fine. It's the closet up there. That's where I put my clothes for tomorrow. Um, this is my kitchen. We've got some tortillas, coffee filters, coffee, apricots. You're really living big. And these are really good. My kids eat those, Greg. Yeah. Yeah. Sandwich crackers. That's a child snack. Yeah. What's that, that coffee maker down there? So we got a Bioino giant battery pack here. This has actually been really helpful. Does that run the coffee pot? Coffee pot, everything. Oh, sweet. That's impressive. Oh, here's my fridge. Oh, this I, is my refrigerator. I remember that refrigerator. I made lunch for tomorrow. <laughs> got some slammy. Salami, a little mustard, baby bell. Yes. So that's my lunch. Uh, it's just a quick lunch, you know. Take a tortilla, rip up some baby bell, some salami, slab it with mustard, fold her up, and you can eat it in like a second. And it's, it's good. On the water kind More time for a drop shot. Yep, you can hold it with one hand and hold the rod in the other. So that's my fridge. Back seat's pretty standard. I guess the garage. 
another garage. It's like my garage. Just all my stuff for tomorrow. I try to keep it organized. I try to keep everything that needs to go on the boat in the back. So I need, I know that this needs to be empty in the morning. Uh, rods are ready. I hate to say it, I took two rods away today. One's the depth's 250 and one's a jerk bait. Um, come around, kayak. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is really the situation that I wanted this for. Dynamic dolly. I know some people make fun of it. No, it's killer. But this is the I wish I had one right now. Because tomorrow is going to be crazy. We got single launch, one ramp, 176 people with kayaks. Wheels are fine, but I'm going to park way up top on the parking lot, get the dolly set up, put the kayak on the dolly, and then I get up to the hitch and just drive her down. And if anyone Smart. else wants to do that too, they can put it on the dolly. I'll just I need, drive our boats down. I need to buy one of these. Close it out, me and you, Mike. It's just like the old days. Cool format, right? Cool tournament format. Super cool. Different different strategies for, well, two different strategies, but. I know I'm not gonna do well, but it's gonna be a fun format. You can always catch one good fish throughout the day and maybe win a grand. Oh, look who it is. Santa. On a sleigh. Yep, old Santa Claus. It's, it's gonna be fun. You know, a thousand bucks every hour for big fish. Overall, big fish wins a boat. First place overall cumulative inches wins a boat and like, three grand now oh i thought it was just one winner well one winner but they pay down like 14 places Ooh. i mean so i'm kind of thinking maybe just try to go catch a million fish Could if you're out, you can be going back like four years and just use that little worm and yeah shake 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 it used to be a drop shatter come here yeah, Santa. it's gonna be a dope tournament dutch come here oh, there he fun. is what up what's going on oh look he's got a refrigerator too yeah we all got our own fridges we're just doing a uh, cribs hobo cribs what's that Oh, what? Yeah. Summer folks. Welcome to summer, folks. Yes. Santa. Listen. Oh. How's the drive, brother? Oh. Yeah. It's long. It's well, guys, long. it's a good bite out there. You'll do it. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay. sorry, Santa hurt you there. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm pretty buff, dude. I can fine. hurt you. Are there any other words that anyone wants to say before we get into the B-roll? I, I want to say thanks to Native for coming out west and throwing a dope tournament. Yeah. A company from the east comes out west and... Yep. Gives us a little love. I yep. appreciate that. It's a native. Yeah, native. Cheers. Yeah. Mike, can you cue the beer? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Check this out, ready? Oh, oh, oh. That's a new one. <laughs> 